As Samsung gears up for its highly anticipated unpacked event on July 10, where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 will take center stage, the buzz surrounding the next flagship Galaxy S series is also reaching fever pitch. While the launch of the Galaxy S25 Ultra is still months away, exciting rumors about its camera capabilities have started to emerge. Renowned tech tipster Sporandio 4 Tech has hinted at two significant sensor upgrades for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Firstly, the ultra-wide sensor may transition to a new 1 half 76-inch JN1 sensor. Although slightly smaller than the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 1 half 55-inch sensor, this change could result in a remarkable resolution jump from 12 megapixels to 50 megapixels. Additionally, the 3X telephoto lens might receive an upgrade as well. According to the leak, it could feature a larger 1 3rd inch isocell sensor, surpassing the 1 3rd 52 inch sensor found in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This upgrade could also bring about an increase in resolution from 10 megapixels to 50 megapixels. The tipster also hints at the development of new algorithms, although specific details remain undisclosed. These algorithms play a crucial role in smartphone photography, enhancing image quality and functionality beyond the capabilities of the physical camera hardware alone. For instance, the Galaxy S24 Ultra's advanced algorithms elevated photography to new heights, offering improved low-light performance, exceptional stabilization for shake-free shots and videos, sharper portraits, and astonishing upscaling that enabled 100x space zoom, even without the presence of a 10x periscope camera. However, it's important to take this rumor with a grain of salt, as it is still early days. Anything can change before the expected launch of the Galaxy S25 series in 2025. Nevertheless, if the rumor does prove to be true, Samsung's decision to upgrade from the old 10 megapixels 3X sensor appears to be a wise move. The adoption of a higher megapixel sensor could significantly enhance image quality, meet the demands of consumers, and pave the way for exciting features in the future. The Galaxy S24 series phones are still fresh in everyone's minds, and even though we're halfway through 2024, they are still considered some of the top-notch smartphones you can get your hands on. However, that doesn't mean we're not already looking ahead to the future. Exciting rumors and leaks about the upcoming Galaxy S25 series from Samsung have started to surface, giving us a glimpse of what's to come. According to ZDNet Korea, Samsung is going all out to enhance the yield of its upcoming Exynos 2500, and they mean business. Up until now, Samsung has faced some challenges, with the chip's yield numbers being quite low. It's been a bit of a struggle, with the yield hovering in the single digits. But fear not, as Samsung has recently made some significant improvements, pushing that number up to just under 20%. Now, let's not get too carried away. This change won't happen overnight. Samsung has set its sights on achieving drastically better yield results by the second half of 2024, and they better make it happen if they want to meet their production deadlines. Reports reveals that the chip yield needs to hit a minimum of 60% for mass production. It's still early days and we can't say for sure if Samsung will succeed. However, if you ask most previous Exynos device users, they probably won't shed a tear if Samsung falls short this time. Past Exynos chipsets have left a lot to be desired, especially when compared to Qualcomm's offerings. While we always appreciate companies taking risks and trying something new, maybe it's time for Samsung to bid farewell to Exynos when it comes to their smartphones. Apart from this, brace yourself for some not-so-great news. The latest advancements in Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 technology might come at a cost, quite literally. Industry expert Ming-Chi Kuo predicts that Qualcomm could raise the price of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 by 25-30% to 30 compared to its predecessor, Gen 3. This means that upcoming phones, including the Galaxy S25, might see a price hike. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be manufactured using the cutting-edge 3NM and 3E process by TSMC, the same process used for Apple's i18 Pro chip. As a result, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could be 25 to 30% pricier than its predecessor, which currently costs around $190 to $200. This suggests that the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 might hit the market with a price tag as high as $260. While Samsung may not have control over this predicted price increase, they do have a few options to address the issue. One possibility is that Samsung absorbs the additional costs of the new chip and keeps the S25's price unchanged. 
Alternatively, the company could make compromises in other areas, such as the battery, display, or build quality to offset the higher cost of the chip. Another option for Samsung is to introduce a new in-house Exynos chip across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup, freeing themselves from Qualcomm's production costs. However, it remains uncertain whether the Exynos 2500 would also come with a higher price tag. Regardless of the chosen strategy, there is a risk that Samsung's decision could lead to lower sales of the S25 if customers haven't fully embraced the idea that Exynos is now a superior chip compared to two years ago. While it's difficult to predict the future, it seems more likely that Samsung will increase the launch price of the upcoming Galaxy S25 phones to compensate for Qualcomm's higher production costs. There's a new rumor swirling around about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it's an exciting one. Apparently, this flagship device will be equipped with faster UFS 4.1 speeds, which could significantly enhance its performance. What's even more intriguing is that this upgrade might be exclusive to the S25 Ultra, making it an even more enticing choice. With this improved speed, the phone will not only be capable of handling on-device AI capabilities, but also offer practical applications like recording 4K videos directly to a hard drive, similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now let's talk about battery life. The Galaxy S24 Ultra already impressed us with its 5,000 mAh cell, which landed it on our best phone battery life list, with an impressive 16 hour and 45 minute result on our battery test. So when it comes to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, we're not particularly concerned about its battery life. Rumors suggest that Samsung might stick with the same 5,000 mAh battery for the S25 Ultra, which should still provide ample power. However, it would be great to see Samsung enhance the Ultra's wired charging speed beyond the current 45 watts. Unfortunately, it seems less likely at this point. On the bright side, there are whispers that the battery might be getting larger to accommodate the power draw of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip. But even if the capacity does increase, it's uncertain whether it will translate into a noticeable difference in practical battery life due to the chipset's demands. All in all, the Galaxy S25 Ultra seems to be shaping up as an impressive device with its potential speed boost and reliable battery life. We can't wait to see what other surprises Samsung has in store for us. It's never too early to start speculating about the next big thing from Samsung, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. With Android 15 on the horizon and the second developer preview already underway, it's safe to say that the S25 Ultra will come equipped with the latest software. And if history is any indication, we can expect the same seven years of software support that the Galaxy S24 received. But what really excites us are the potential additions to the Galaxy Eye features. The S24 lineup introduced some impressive AI capabilities, and we can only imagine what Samsung has in store for the S25 Ultra. Will there be exclusive features for the higher-end model? Only time will tell. One thing we do know is that Samsung is always looking to push the boundaries of what their devices can do. The entry-level S24 was able to perform the same tasks as the Premium Ultra thanks to the support of Galaxy Eye features. And there's even talk of equipping the Bixby personal assistant with generative AI capabilities. The possibilities are endless. So, as we eagerly await the arrival of the Galaxy S25 Ultra in 2025, let's share your expectations for the upcoming lineup. What features do you hope to see? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more updates on our channel. Until then, take care and see you in the next one.